Welcome to my podcast, Today's Dream, Tomorrow's Reality. My name is Vicki Pohl. I'm a master transformational coach and hypnotist specializing in habit change. And this podcast is sponsored by The Enlightened Peach. And it's all about embracing our mosaic life. And some of you may ask, what is a mosaic life anyway? Well, it is recognizing that all the pieces of our life, the good, the bad, the indifferent, have all come together to make us who we are. Change any one thing and we are different. With that in mind, I invite you to embrace your perceived imperfections and celebrate who you are. This podcast is unedited and raw, just like life. I am your host, and I'll have a special guest today I'll introduce in just a moment. Before I do, I would love for you to leave a comment, a question, um, and remember to like, subscribe, and share. So now, let's get started. So this gentleman right here, Donovan Campbell, I really don't know Donovan Campbell. I just know he's going to be perfect on the podcast. I just know little bits about him, but I'm going to let him just give you a little quick intro and then we'll get into some conversation because I, I'm, I'm excited to ask him about a few things that I know. Go ahead, Donovan. Okay. Good evening, everyone, or good morning, wherever you're listening from over the world. I am happy to be a guest um, in this podcast along with Vicky. Um, in a nutshell, I am a Caribbean born um, from the tropical country, Jamaica, which the fastest man in the world is from that country. <laughs> and um, currently I live in Canada with my family and um, uh, author of three books. My first book that I publish is I co-author with, with my wife. And my other two books are music book because also I am a gospel recording artist and I am a creativity and a life coach also. So yeah, a young man that have a lot of things happening. Yeah, you're like yeah, the rest like of us. Rest Entrepreneurs of us. always wear multiple hats, right? Yeah. <laughs> I seem yeah. to be taking my hats on and off all the time, right? So yeah. what I want to know is, um, I mean, um, what really, like you you were born in um, Jamaica, right? Isn't that what you said, right. Jamaica? Um, yes. And then moved to Canada. So what took you from, from Jamaica to Canada? Okay. So my wife, my wife, um, she lives in Canada. She's a Jamaican born too, but she came here um, when she was, um, I think, 12 or 13 years old. Mm -hmm. So um, that's how it comes. I end up, um, came to Canada. So how did you know her? Okay, it was, <laughs> we, we, we met on uh, through a mutual uh, church friend. Okay. Yeah. So that so, does work, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So long distance, long distance relationship um, do work. Okay. And um, August, this August coming will be eight years since we are married, okay. and um, our union produced one child so far. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, a happy, a happy, energetic boy. Yeah. So, what's his yeah. name? Um, his name is Samuel Delroy Campbell. Oh, that's a mouthful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Might be a while before he learns how to do that one. How old is he? He's two years old. Okay. So he can kind of get that now, right? At two? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I know sometimes names are really hard for them to even string together three nice words like that. You know, little bitty yes. ones. If his name was Bob, it'd be no problem, right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Well, congratulations on that. And that's, that's Thank super you. exciting. You know, I have a, a friend of mine that through her work, she went to, I think it might have been Jamaica. I can't remember. She went there with um, a travel thing for work and she met a, a gentleman. And, um, and even though they didn't have a lot of time together, they're still doing this long distance thing. They just really just fell for each other on this trip. And yeah. so she is like planning trips all the time, trying to figure out how she can go there and see him and how he can come here. Um, and it just seems like it would be 
very challenging to be able to do that. So when you were dating your wife, were you able to go and visit a lot or was it mostly just kind of online or on the phone? Well, my wife traveled basically every year, go back home to Jamaica okay. and the Caribbean. So that was something that I always looked forward to see her every year. And otherwise from that, we, you know, but then it was it was um, Skype. We oh know gosh, we Skype, <laughs> that dates you, know. you, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, we had Skype day and night. Uh, we uh -huh. text each other through our regular phone. We have phone calls. Oh, wow. um, we send each other emails. So we capitalize on technology in every aspect to <laughs> communicate and, you know. Yeah, yeah. So how long have you been? I know you, you said you're a musician. Um, mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, a spiritual musician, a Christian, is it Christian or is it just spiritual? I don't know. I don't uh, know the Christian, difference, to be honest. A Christian, a Christian, uh, Christian um, musician. Okay. And then you've written books, one with your wife, and then you've written two others. And for what I remember from the little, th the form that you filled out for me, the two of the books I think are about helping people to be musicians with a different way of doing it, if I'm understanding correctly, right? Right. Right, right. So uh, my first music book that um, I published in 2022, um, that's the year when my son was born. <laughs> uh, yeah, I published it a month before his birth. Um, that book, uh, 20, 20, 22 plus years writing um, music, I, I just speak about my experiences in that book um, over the years, um, uh, writing music for over 20 years, and I start recording music when uh, like 15 years after writing. So I'm more passionate about writing than okay. to go into, into the recording studio. So I share all of that experience in that book. And also I did a, a questionnaire with various um, musicians, mm -hmm. um, and 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 just to get how how musician think and 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 that um questionnaire um is also in the book a completed questionnaire is in the book along with um a blank blank questionnaire that persons can also fill out for themselves that's okay. the first one um the the second music book i i was inspired because i i want to i i recognize that there is four um, regular most songwriting structures by musician. So I recognize that there is other structures and it's, it's, it's most of the music that I, what I hear on the radio are, are I see um, music video, they fall into one of the four structures. Mm -hmm. and I'm I'm so curious. There got to be others. So I did some research and um, put my own touch to it. And that's how comes I come with the second um, music book called um, 10 Plus Songwriting Structures. Okay. So basically, so, you're with that one, you're helping people to write and expand into other structures so they're not staying in the box that most musicians exactly. are staying yeah, in, right? Am I getting you? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and to be honest with you, to be honest with you, currently I am, I am, I am creating an online course, and it is the first I'm creating an online course where I speak about those four mm -hmm. mostly songwriting structures by musician from all genre of music worldwide. Right. So I'm creating a course right now. I, my, I, 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 I hope to complete it next weekend because for me when i'm working on a project i love to have a, a starting date and an end date yeah, <laughs> so my yeah. end date is next weekend but i'm pleased i'm pleased about it i i i, I can i can happily say i am 99 percent with the course okay so there's just one percent to go <laughs> yeah, so i will, I will meet my date my due date Good. Well, I know for me, um, there are times that I will set that beginning and that end date. And then as it gets closer, I think, oh, I, I need to move that baby just a little bit because I ain't going to make it. But if I mm -hmm. don't set that date, 
It's like yeah. nothing ever gets finished because it's like a this open air window where, well, it doesn't matter, you know, and, and you don't do anything. You have, yeah. I, for me, I have to have at least a little bit of a container that says, People are expecting this here so that I will, <laughs> <laughs> I will get it done. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. 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 For me, one of my, one of my reason why I have a starting date and a end date on a project or anything I'm doing, it helps me to be disciplined, mm -hmm. disciplined um, with that mindset to say, yes, get this goal accomplished. Right. By this date, you know, yeah. and sometimes, sometimes I may go over, but at least I have a date and yeah. I'm working to accomplish the goal by that date. So it helps to discipline my mindset and, and, and so forth. So yeah, and it helps me a lot. It helps me a lot. Yeah. I, I feel you. Cause like I said, if I, if I don't set a date, I, I'll get so distracted with all the little shiny objects and the things that I want to do or need to do that, that I will mm -hmm. just forget about it and do something else. So yeah, I, I, I get that for sure. So I know, um, I think it said something, I, I put a couple of notes down. So I remember um, that you are also not only write about song for songwriters, you're right um, for people who want to tell stories and how to write their book. Did I understand that right? Is you yes. do that as well? Yes. So, so as I said, as I said before, I am a creativity and a life coach. So mm -hmm. I, that's two umbrellas. So the creativity aspect where I coach persons around songwriting, um, stage performance and persons um, who desire to become an author. So that's the creativity aspect. And where the when life did you coach, start doing that though? How long have you been doing that? Um, to tell you the truth, uh, it's it's a little bit over here since okay. I really, really since I really um, take it intentionally mm -hmm. to to say I I am going to go into the coaching aspect because yeah. um, in 2020 during the art of the pandemic I did a health and life um, coaching course. Mm -hmm. And from there, from there, I, I, I was inspired to be an entrepreneur and how can I help people? So, yes. And because I love creativity, I just combined it together and said, you know, creativity and life coach. So when it is creativity, it's all about creativity, even though sometimes I mix it both because persons persons um, react to things differently. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I may take a little bit of the life coaching into the creativity aspect where persons can be relaxed and to explore their talents and so forth. So as a creativity coach, you're, um, you're helping people to um, get into any part of their creativity or is it mostly geared toward music and, um, and writing? Is that your, or is it just, you know, because I, reason I'm asking is I, I, with my coaching, I, a lot of times tell people to, you know, it's important to get creative. And that means, you know, whether it's doodling on a piece of paper, or if that means getting your paint brushes and your paints out, or, um, you know, I, I don't really talk much about like music because that's not my forte, um, which maybe I should add that in that because music is powerful for memories and all that kind of thing. And yeah. so I, I, you know, I'll talk a lot about that because we sometimes like you were talking about the musicians that stay in a box and sometimes yeah. it's getting into create a creative flow of some kind helps you see that there's something outside the box. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. To answer that question. Um, currently, I just focus on the writing aspect. Mm -hmm. And, and um, because I'm passionate, I, I love to write. Mm -hmm. So I realized that's a natural gift that yeah, I have. Yeah. And um, I just see where um, everybody, they do write and everyone have a story. And so that's where I challenge persons, you know, whether they want to write a music or they want to write a book, you know, it is there. And, um, and, and talent and development and growth, you know, I also have that 
um, coaching program also. Okay, so, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you're kind of you're you're helping people expand in, in a lot of areas, not just in the writing and the um, and the music. It's the, right. the the whole shebang, right? Right, right. Yeah, the mindset and all that stuff. Which mindset's right. huge, right? <laughs> right. Mindset. Mindset is everything. Yeah, everything. yeah. It all starts in the mind. Yeah. Because yeah. I mean, I mean. <laughs> I'm, I'm so humble and excited to say I, I never see myself being an author of, of three books, much less, much less to be an author of two music book. And also I am a I am a recording artist. I never I never see myself like that. But, you know, it was there in the mind. So, you know, in order for me to get out of the mind, I just get it onto paper and just from paper, I create pro products so when you're being a musical artist do you sing as well or is it writing just the music both. or is that together both of them both, both. okay both. so where can we find you so we can listen <laughs> okay um persons can find me on on my youtube page uh brother dc that's uh, my stage name brother dc so persons can just type brother dc on youtube and it just popped up are okay. they can just sim are they simply can just go in Google search and just type in Brother DC and um, my Facebook page and YouTube page will pop up from there. Okay, cool. So for anybody that's watching or listening, you know, mm -hmm. in the um, in the show notes, I will actually be putting in all of his links to everything, so you'll be able to get to it very easily. But you know, I will be diving in and taking a listen too, because you said it's gos it's gospel music, right? Yeah, gospel yeah. music. Yeah. Yeah. So that would be pretty cool to, to dive into. And I've got a lot of people that would really be intrigued. So um, I'll, I'll, I'll share it out too, because that'll be Thank fun. You. Don't, you. you know, it's funny um, when you hear somebody on, uh, on Spotify or YouTube or on the radio or anything, and you know who they are, it's like, Oh, I know somebody that's famous, you know? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's, it's amazing when you know somebody and you see their book somewhere. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's, mm -hmm. it's like mind boggling, you know, and, yeah. um, I'm currently writing a book that, um, awesome. it's, it's definitely not, I'm not that close with it. I may be like 15% in that's about it. You know, I I've got, mm -hmm. a, I've got a ways to go, but I'm still writing it. Um, mm -hmm. but I, I think it's cool. So as you're you're helping people with writing and yeah. when you do, are you you're taking them through the just the process of teaching them how to get their thoughts on paper? Or right. are you teaching them how to do something with it? What are you doing? <laughs> just um, I don't know. What are you doing? <laughs> um, where where the book where the book writing aspect is is um, I start from zero, go straight to hundred and beyond hundred. Okay, what does that mean? So what that mean is that for a person who desire to write a book, mm -hmm. the question that I would ask, um, what book would you want to write? Mm -hmm. Because I don't want, I, don't, I, I, co I coach person not just to write any book, write right. a book that is educational, that something, um, persons can be can gain a lot of benefits from mm -hmm. and not only pers um, the readers will get um, benefits from it also from that book you can do a presentation anywhere right so that's it my it becomes your your signature talk so to speak right there you go okay there you okay. go there you go so i encourage person not just to say i just want to write a book because i feel write a book that it can it can take you to places. It can you can do a, a um, presentation online. You can do presentation in person, and, and 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 that is also a way of you being promoting your book, and also you educating persons. So yeah. a book a book is very powerful. So I don't take it lightly. Yeah. So just just out of curiosity. So let's just say that there's somebody that's watching or listening and they've been thinking that they would love to, to write a book about some of the thoughts or something that they they're doing that helps them. 
and yeah. they're hoping that it'll help other people. So mm -hmm. what would be the first thing you would tell them that they would need to do? Um, the first thing- If they haven't would, started at all, they just have this idea and that's all. First thing I will definitely have, uh, my first session is called um, Clarity Session. Okay. So have a clarity of what is the type of book you want, um, what each chapter will look like, and 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 how we'll take the chapter step by step with details. Mm -hmm. So when you're helping somebody with this, how many sessions do they basically have to where they go from zero to the books published? Because do you help yeah. them through with the publishing part too? Yeah, yeah, I'll take okay. them through. Um, take them through. Uh, they have a option. They can. They can be self. Um, a self publisher, or they want. If they want to go through a traditional um publisher, but mm -hmm. it is all goes back to them. The main thing is that you just want to get the manuscript out of the way because that's where most of the energy and focus is on the manuscript. Okay. Yeah. yeah, the book cover is easy. You yeah. know. Yeah, it's especially the these days, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. How long a process does that normally take? Uh, I go between 10 to 12 sessions. So is that like one a week? Uh, one a week. Or if, if, a, if a person's available, they want to do two sessions okay. per week, that's okay. Because there are some persons who, who are quick, quick and writing. They, mm -hmm. they, just, they just write. Yeah. They just yeah. easily to flow with their writing. While some person, they take their time and to to, you know, to write out their, their thoughts. Yeah, yeah. On paper or some person may type it on computer, but um, I, love to, I, I, I love to write because I, I, I flow easily. Because, mm -hmm. you know, when the, the computer stuff with you, just typing, typing, and that takes a lot more energy. So. Definitely. And you know, I'm sure you do, but for those that are watching or listening and they don't know that there's actually the physical writing of things opens the brain up more so that when you've got thoughts in there, you can flow them into your hand exactly. in a totally different way. And that even goes exactly. for when people are in school and they're taking notes, if they write it with their hand, they retain more of the information. So it's this, right. this connection right. that is amazing. So I don't right. see why anybody wouldn't want to utilize that part of it because that just really gets the the creative juices flowing just physically right. writing. And right. I know for myself, sometimes I can start out with just writing. I don't really know what I want to say right now. I don't know what's going to be going here. I don't know. I don't know. And then suddenly mm -hmm. things will start coming and you just keep yeah. writing, you know? Yeah. So yeah. It, it's an amazing thing how yeah. our brain and our hand are working together. And I think that's yeah. just so beautiful. And I think a lot of people aren't aware how much mm -hmm. they're leaving mm -hmm. out of the process if they're just mm -hmm. typing. Yeah. 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 It, 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 it's, it's more beneficial from yeah. my, from my, um, from my experiences over the years. Yeah. So right. when you were young in um, Jamaica and uh, with your family and everything, did you write back then? Yeah. Um, I, I realized that well, in high school and I was going to high school, I always love to do assignments, you know, and to 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 discover, go to the library and get information and put my own touch to it. So from then I I, I love to to write and to do um projects and so forth. And at at age age uh 14, 15, yeah, I think 15, that's where the whole songwriting aspect comes in. Um, it's so amazing just, just reflecting right now, talking to you because where it all started for me is that at age 15, I was, I became a Christian and, um, you know, being in the high school, there's so much temptation, the beautiful girls and all of that. And, yeah. you know, the classmates always teasing me and say stuff. 
that I don't want to hear. So, so I'm assuming you know, being, from what you're saying that being a Christian in the school you were in was not the norm. No, was it there, wasn't norm. Right. Because, so. because I, I left I left from a junior from a junior high school go into a bigger high school. Okay. So it was it was from one school to the other. And during that process, I became a Christian. Yeah. So I mean, going going to a high school where over a thousand or two thousand students is comparing to a school that I was coming from with probably less than a thousand. Whoa, you know? big difference. Yeah, and I mean, I mean, but then I love the girls and all of that. So you know, there are certain things I couldn't do that you know, young. So I, I tend to write out, write on paper to God, you know, how mm -hmm. I feel and all of that. And that's where the whole writing, okay. whole writing development start for me. Yeah. So it was kind of like you were journaling and then exactly. the journaling came into you writing. Is that when you started writing the music, right? Yeah. I, I, when I started, I, I don't know how to write a, a course, I mm -hmm. chorus. I don't know how to write a verse. I, I don't even know how to write a complete song. But as I continue to write, and um, I had a cousin of mine when I was back home, he, he, he helped me how to structure okay. um, a song because the, the, the difference between me and him is that he easily inspired to, to, with a song into his brain and by him saying words, but he don't write. Well, I write, and that's where I develop the writing skill. And from writing, then I develop how to record and to find my own um, um, singing tone and all of that. So it was a process to where I'm at right now. So it all start from writing song till now I become an author of three books, two music books and one with my wife. Yeah, yeah. So what's the one with you, your wife? What is it? That book, it's, um, it's a, I call it a multi-purpose, um, multi-purpose motivational book. So um, it is called Our Life's Journey. Um, yeah, I just give me a minute. Let, let me just get okay. back up. Yeah. I have both books. I have both books with me. This is um my my music book, 21 Ooh, plus. Oh, I like it. Yeah. 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 And this is the first book that start the whole process with me and my wife. Yeah. Um, our life's journey. So is that your signature talk? I uh, uh I think this is where it starts, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So yes. is so, your is your wife, does she um, do talks with you as well since she's well uh, wow she 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 oh my god she's just the package of blessings i call her that i give her that title a package oh of i love it i love it so Life. tell me why tell me why <laughs> um she inspired me a lot mm -hmm. with with her knowing and without her knowing because with this first book here the inspiration came because she's she's more a writer to me than myself. Because at the time when we were dating and in that long distance relationship, um, she was doing her master's program and um, I helped her do her schoolwork online. And it's like every week she usually have probably two assignments or more than two assignments. And it require, the requirement like is probably 300 words and um, my wife always go like 500, 600, 700. <laughs> She's one of those. <laughs> yeah. And, and to be honest with you, I, I remember telling her that, you know, I think that you should be, you should write a book. And uh, um, she told me straight up, no. <laughs> and I, I still... Because I recognize that she can write and she loves to expound. If she's talking about a fruit, she can find me in a thousand words to talk about a fruit. <laughs> when I don't have so much words. Yeah, so I realize yeah. that she, she have she loved to, she'd have that gift of like exponent and writing. And I still, 
I still pushed the button. I said to her, um, can both of us write a book together? She said, no, you alone going to write that book. And I still push. And he said, I start do some scratching out of the book, some carving out and all of that. And by doing that, I told her, you know, what I have in mind. And as, as I go along, she joined with me and that's wow. how comes first book comes to life. And, and yeah, and, and, and right now I'm so happy for her because she also published her second book okay. um, February, February since here yeah. because um, she, she's also a, a psychotherapy and a educational um, assistant that works within the school system here in Canada. So mm -hmm. she's doing big things. Yeah. Um, so is that I, what I'm, her book's about? What's her second book about? So our second book is, uh, it's a, uh, I wish I didn't have it close to me. Our second book is a devotional book. Okay. Because she, as before, she's a psychotherapist. So um, she have her own private um, business where she counsel persons and different areas that she specializes in. So um, she wrote that book as um, as a devotional book to help persons how to deal with their negative thoughts. Okay. Um, the, the, the name of the book is called Tell Your Negative Thoughts Not Now. That's the name of the book. Okay. I like it. Uh, uh, yeah. Tell Your Negative Thoughts Not Now. Yeah. yeah. I like it's, that because you're not saying book. go away forever. It's just not right now. We'll process yeah. you in a minute. All right. Yeah. Is that kind of yeah. what, what it means? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and it, it's, it's also a work, a work book because she have like puzzles into, into her book and words of affirmation and so forth. So it helps to deal with really, you know, deal with yeah. the negative thoughts really to get it. Yeah. So that go. partners a lot with the stuff that you do as well. Right. Because with the mindset yeah. and everything, right? Yeah, yeah. I bet there's some yes. really interesting conversations over the dinner table. <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> and, and 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 I'm happy to say too that I I I coach her on okay. and, and write a book too. Oh you know? wow! Nice, yeah. nice. You yeah, know, that's in, that's impressive. So. Um, do you work, I'm assuming you work mostly online or do you do one-on-one -on, -one on in person as well? Online, online. online? Okay. So you do one-on-one -on -one or you do groups? I do one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. One-on-one okay. -on -one for now. I'm looking forward to do groups, but for now I'm just learning from the one-on-one. -on -one yeah. And, yeah. And know how to deal with a group setting. Yeah, well, you know, for me, I, I've done one on one coaching for a long time. And when I, I do some group every now and then, and sometimes mm -hmm. it's like the group, it's like um, it takes a little bit more thought to decide, well, what's the thing that's going to help each one of those per people? How can I change the way I'm saying this? So I'm not putting the picture in their mind of what it is. They can fill it in for themselves and kind of thing. So it, it does take a lot more. Um, and maybe it's just that it takes a lot more practice, you know, um, mm -hmm. maybe once you've been doing it for a long time, it's no brainer or whatever. But for me, yeah. it's like, I want every person to feel like they're getting individual attention, even though they're not. And yeah. so it takes a, um, some um, energy to, to get to that place. Do you find that? Yeah. Well, you haven't been doing the groups yet. So you haven't really paid. You don't know yeah. about that, right? I don't know about that. Yet, yeah. But yeah. I'm just. I'm just mastering the the one on one, and um, yeah, by mastering the one one on one um, coaching sessions, um, it will help to boost my confidence to deal with small group and even larger group. Yeah. Because one of the thing that I I I, I see myself are mm -hmm. are, are uh, um, envisioned for myself is that you know I I'm going to do large groups whether online or in person, mm -hmm. but. You know, 
start from the one-on-one -on -one coaching and help to boost my confidence. So when I go forward, I'm going forward with passion. I'm going forward with energy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what do you see like five years from now? What do you see for you and your coaching? Um, what I see, I see myself um, setting my own schedule. So mm -hmm. I won't be doing nine to five. <laughs> um, I see myself empowering thousands of people, um, inspiring people, um, taking, helping people to take their story and to put into a book or to put into music. Um, I see myself being on some big platforms that I've never been on before. You know, just sharing my story and let my story be a motivation you know, to other persons. Yeah, yeah. You know, what's interesting to me is, um, you know, when COVID happened and everything changed where there was so much more stuff online, right? Um, I went to a Tony Robbins um, event online and like he had a room that was like screens all across the wall and you could see all the people, you know? And I thought, oh, that's what I want. I want to have a mm -hmm. room with TVs all over and there's so many people on there, you know? Mm -hmm. Or I want to be in a, in a big arena where there's people there, but I mm -hmm. still want to have, you know, this more personal feel to things and yes. don't know how that works or how that's actually going to look. But, you know, that's yeah. one of the vision things I have for me. But until COVID happened and Tony Robbins did that, I never would have ever um, even thought of this room where everybody's on Zooms and mm -hmm, all of that. Mm -hmm. So, um, and, you know, my Zoom rooms are not that full right now, uh, mm -hmm. I will tell you. But um, mm -hmm. it, but it's a good thought, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. so I love doing the visuals where we look at what it's going to look like in five years, what it's going to look like in 10 years. Yeah. And um, it just, it gives you some of that fuel, that fire to, to, right. to keep right. moving on, right? Knowing right. that you're making a difference. That's the biggest thing, right? That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So when you think about it, how many people do you think, I don't know, is that the right question? Um, do you have an idea in your mind of how many people that you are going to affect um, in your lifetime? Ah, that's a, I know, very it's a good tough question. one, right? That's a toughie. <laughs> um, but remember, remember, there's the 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 ripple effect so you help five people right here and then they help somebody and then they help five people so it's a it's not just who you touch it's yeah. who you've touched out that it's way spread, right spread, right um ah uh, I, I i i know for sure i'm looking beyond um i'm looking beyond thousand beyond a thousand i'm looking for a thousand yeah a thousand because as I said before, you know, I, I vision for myself being on some big platforms, you mm -hmm. know, on stage where that room is over a thousand people and doing a presentation. So, you know, you know, and those platforms may have a YouTube page that have millions of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Now you're talking millions. You're getting there. You're getting there, right? <laughs> so, so it even expands even more. Yeah, so, yeah. Image and for myself. Yeah, yeah. I, I I kind of feel like when we're doing this work, you know, um, I I think sometimes we cannot even comprehend the amount of people that we're going to affect in our mm -hmm. lifetime, you know, because mm -hmm. we don't know how many people are affected by one little tiny thing we do, you know, mm -hmm. and so it gives me even more fuel to want to do things. And when somebody says, you've changed my life, it's like, oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Even though one day I, 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 I shed some tears when mm. I really look, where we look and see where I'm coming from. 
and you know to hear persons talking about some positive things about me i'm like are they sure they're talking about the right person <laughs> <laughs> and then i'm humbled by it and sometimes i shed some tears because as i said before you know i didn't see myself being a musician i never see myself being an author of three books i didn't see myself doing these things but i i have discovered through the process that um, one talent or one gift will store up other gifts that is on the inside. Yeah, that you yeah. beautiful, because I love that. As, as for me, as I said before, I know, I, I, I see myself as a writer. I didn't see myself as a recording artist. And from, from recording artists, I go into writing books and from books now I am creating an online course for the very very first time I'm humbled I'm humbled and super happy yeah yeah so as I said before one talent will stir up other talents that's inside the things is just I for me I identify that I have the gift of writing and how can I use this writing skill and to produce. Yeah. So I do recording music and record music, I can write books. And from writing books, hear my now creating an online course. So yeah. it's all about recognizing that one gift and, and master it in every way and be an expert of it. And it leads to other things inside because I didn't, I, I just said, as you asked the question, I vision myself being into a room doing a presentation with over a thousand people. I've never done that before, but because yeah. of the writing, the writing um, skill set, it store up other things in me that I can go and talk with confidence about what I have um, I've written or, you know, what I've produced. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Um, so do you have siblings? Yes, um, by my mother's side, um, there are five boys and I am the first one. And by my father's side, uh, I know of eight, eight Holy children. Holy moly, oh, yeah. a lot of kids there. So uh, are any of them writers too, or is it just you? Um, one of my brother, he also do music. Mm -hmm. Even though he kind of stopped doing it right now, I don't see him do anything. But you know, I he's 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 a maybe he's he'll a watch you and he'll change that. He'll start doing it more. Yeah, yeah, he's a he's a rapper. He lives in Miami, and um, one of my sister, she 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 is a uh, a preacher, an okay. evangelist. So mm -hmm. you know, you the evangelist or preacher, they do write sermon. So and um. Yeah, that's what I know of so far among my sibling. But okay. it's humble to say I am the first one who just take off like a skyrocket. That's just, right. You started the trend. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> because, because that sister of mine that I know that writes sermon and she do preach and so forth, she also desire to write a book. So, okay. So you're going to help her, right? For sure. I tell her when she's ready. Yeah. Beautiful. Sure. See, you'll have a whole family of writers and their kids and your kids will be writers. And it'll be one of those, um, those stories that everybody tells about this family of writers, right? Right. Right. Yeah. I love right. it. Yeah. So what do you think when you're thinking about all this that you're doing and you're wanting to do with the course that you got coming up and you've got your books and your music and all that stuff, what do you think brings you the most joy? Uh, well, it's a good question. What brings me most joy is just to help people. Mm -hmm. um, help people, three things I, 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 I keep in mind when, I, when, I'm, when I'm coaching or you know, creating stuff. I want to I want to inspire people, I want to motivate people, I want to educate people. 
I want I, I, I want what those three things I keep in mind whenever time I'm creating something because I want people to know that there is more on the inside of, of, of them to offer. Yeah. There's more. And, and if, they, if they could just take some time out and to analyze their self and to, and, to, and, to, and to go deep within and discover the more that's inside of them that they can offer, it will be a change for them because it's a change for me. Yeah. So the same joy and, 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 and blessings and happiness that I'm feeling because I go inside of me and to offer more, I want them to, I want they to have that experience too. Yeah. Because, because I see myself, my story is not just for me alone. My story yeah. is to, is to is, as I said before, is to inspire people, to motivate people, and to educate people. Yeah. I love that. Thank you for sharing that. And I know we're getting um, close to time. So um, is there anything that you wanted to make sure before we got on here that you spoke about and I have not brought it up, haven't asked you the right question or whatever. So is there something that's on your heart that you want to say before we close up? Um. Well, and I if want there's person- not, that's okay. I just want to yeah. make sure that I've covered all the... Things. Yeah, your audience, your audience can 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 check um can follow me and and Facebook, um and my my Facebook page is called Coach Donovan DC. Their persons can find more about me or they can check me out on Instagram, um Coach underscore Donovan DC, and um yeah I I share some motivational um things on my pages so persons can get some you know inspiration and all of these things because people do need motivation yeah we all do need motivation every day and every night yes we do yes we do so they get a little taste of some of the stuff that you do right exactly beautiful beautiful and like i said um in the show notes i will have all the links to you so that they can just click right on it and uh, get on onto your page and you know remember yeah. you know anybody that's watching or listening when you go and check him out on instagram or facebook remember to um subscribe to his channel or ask to be a member or whatever the heck it is i don't even know <laughs> but just make sure you like it or something i don't know yeah and if there's someone out there that um you know, want, want me to want to have one-on-one coach with me, they can just simply reach out to me and those um, platform by just messaging me or so forth. Or okay. can send me an email or so, you know, persons can get my information from there. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, thank you so much for being here today. It's really been eye-opening and I love mm-hmm. all the things that you're doing and I love your, your attitude and um, <laughs> how you're, presenting yourself. It's really, really nice. And congratulations with you and your wife. I mean, I will say I'm a single person. I've been single for quite a while now. And one of my things is if I could find someone who we had the good enough interest together that we could do some of those things, ah, that would be heaven to me. And I haven't mm-hmm. met that person yet, but who knows? It's probably there yeah. somewhere, right? Uh, yeah. If it if it's God's will, it's it's I'm going to yeah. meet them, right? <laughs> yeah 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 it, it, it as i said before i call my wife you know a package of blessings you know yeah because um we 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 encourage each other you know we support each other in in everything you know um yeah i love that to last 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 week saturday my wife um she did a presentation at uh they call it um they, that they, at a church at a church they were having like a health day mm-hmm. so my wife was the guest speaker of the day show so she 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 did a presentation in the morning and a presentation in the evening and you know you know you know, because she's in her feed, you know, she's a health advocate, you know, a mental health advocate. So, you know, that was the first time for her. So, you know, 
we are, you know, I was always there to support her, you know, doing yeah. positive things. Yeah. You guys are going places. I can tell. I can tell. Mm. Yeah. So just buckle up, buckle up, buttercup. It's happening. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank All right. You. So um, thank you, everybody that's watching, listening. And I want to end with one of my favorite quotes. And I think I heard someone say that it was Lincoln that said it, but I could be wrong. I have no idea. I keep trying to remember to write it down. But anyway, the best way to predict the future is create it. And I love that because we're creating all the time, right? And so I want to tell everybody, thank you so much um, for being here with us. And remember to like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you soon. Mwah.